Hi, my name is Lou Points with Philips Connect. Today we'll be walking through the install assist to help verify and associate sensors after installation. It's available on both Android and Apple devices. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Smart 7 device. To get started, I'll be logging into my Philips Connect app. After I've logged in, I'll need to verify my new install. To get started with that, I'll scan the IMEI number, which can be found on any Philips Connect gateway. In this case, on the Smart 7, it's gonna be found inside the lid. If you don't wanna scan the barcode for the IMEI, you can always type in the last six digits of that number. After I've scanned in the IMEI, I'm going to scan in the VIN number. Again, if I don't wanna scan in the VIN number, I can always enter the last six digits. Now that I've entered the IMEI and the VIN number, I'm going to continue with the installation. This might take a few minutes while the sensors communicate with the device. Now we're ready to verify our sensors. First, we're going to make sure that the device details are all communicating, Bluetooth, cellular, and GPS lock. Then I'm going to go ahead and start verifying my sensors, starting with the ABS sensor. Here, I need to make sure that it's installed and communicating, and I see all this information down here, the model, the trailer VIN number, and the trailer odometer. Once I've confirmed that information, I can go ahead and verify that sensor. Next, I'll move on to the air tank sensor. I'll need to make sure it's installed and communicating, and then scroll down and make sure that I am getting pressure and I do have a green check mark. If for some reason I don't have that information, I might have the incorrect sensor ID. So I'm gonna click this blue pencil to edit that information. This all looks great, so I'm gonna go ahead and click verify and verify that sensor. Next, I'll go to the light sentry sensor. Make sure that it's communicating. And then I'm gonna go through and check each individual light on the trailer to make sure the light comes on. Once I've checked to make sure all the lights are functioning, I'm gonna verify this sensor. Next, we're gonna to go to the regulator sensor. I'm gonna make sure it's installed and communicating, and also that I am getting pressure and have a green check here. Once I verify that, I can go ahead and verify this sensor. Now we're gonna to go to the TPMS sensor. I need to make sure it's installed and communicating and I'm getting both tire pressure and temperature on each of these sensors. Now that I see that, I can verify this sensor. Two more sensors to go, the wheel end sensor. I see it's installed and communicating, and I need to make sure that each of these sensors does have a temperature. Now that I see that, I can verify this sensor. Lastly, I'm gonna to go to the wireless door sensor. See that it's installed and communicating. I see that the last message is closed, so I'm gonna open the door and make sure that it is communicating and changes. If for some reason this does not change, I need to log an issue, change this issue to communication, and leave a comment here to say that the door did not change to open. Once I've saved that, I've logged the issue. I'm gonna go ahead and verify the door sensor. Now that I've verified all my sensors, I can finish verification. The installation is complete and now I'm ready to move to my next trailer. Now I'm gonna verify a properly functioning door sensor. I can see that the last message on this page says the door was closed, so I'm gonna open the door, refresh the sensor. Now that it shows open, I can verify the door sensor. Now that I verified all my sensors and finished my installation, I now know that this gateway is associated with this trailer. Thanks for joining us today. We look forward to connecting with you.